there, we're here. Today we are doing a video to celebrate Annette's birthday from Annette's Makeup Corner. Now, Prue from Prue LaRue had um, come to the group that did the Paulina palette bingo on Instagram and said, oh, it's Annette's birthday on the 18th. Does anyone want to come and do a look based on or inspired by one of Annette's looks to celebrate her birthday and a few of us put up our hands and said yes please because um, we love Annette. <laughs> I love Annette. I think she is really great and she does, she's so fearless with her colour use and her bold placement of colour and things and I really admire her about that and her growth this year on her channel has been just amazing. And she deserves that, that's for sure, because she works very hard and she does amazing work and her quality on her video and everything is really great. And I don't know how she gets all those palettes so quickly, but she does wonderful reviews and things and lots of trying things out and she's all very honest and will tell you exactly what she thinks of them, whether you like that or not. <laughs> I like that. I like someone who's straight up and honest. But she so wonderful and she's also really friendly and she comes and comments on my videos and we've collabed together before and she's just a great YouTube friend and I wanted to say happy birthday Annette and I'm really glad that I found you and that I got to get to know you a bit and to follow you and so we're choosing a look from one of her videos to either recreate or be inspired by now, this will be kind of a recreate inspired by, <laughs> and, and let me explain, because I just watched a video yesterday, actually, and she was doing the Natasha Denona mini gold palette, and if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I've just finished doing a dupe of the Natasha gold palette, and then mi mixing in my own colors to what I think would suit me. And so when I saw this one, I thought it was perfect because I um, I added some greens into it as well and the mini palette has got some greens in it. Now, obviously I don't have this palette so I can't do exactly the same look as Annette's doing but I'm gonna dupe it as closely as I can. Some, there are a couple of them are durochromes and I'm, I can get close, I don't know if I'm exactly right. And the dark brown Annette's saying is a slight satin, I don't have, that I can find at the moment a dark satin brown, but I have a I have a brown matte, so I'm going to use that instead. <laughs> so first of all, I'm going to swatch what I've got, and I'll I'll put Annette's swatches up so you can see what I'm going for. And so the first colour she swatched was a transition shade, which as she likes to say, she never uses transition shades, but this is, um, and I have swapped out what she was using for Cup of Tea from the Sofix palette from Revolution. This is one of my favourite transition colours, but I thought it looked pretty close to what was in there. So I'm going to use that one. And then the next colour is that dark brown, she says it's a satin. I don't have a dark brown satin that I can find. So I'm going to use this one, which is Rosewood from the Sofix palette as well. So this is a matte, but it is a dark brown. Hopefully that will be dark enough. The one she swatched, I'm looking at, I'm looking at it now, it looks deeper and richer than that one. Then the next colour is one of the Duro chrome ones and when she's putting it on her eyes she says it's like a gold with a green shift so I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics one from the Solar Flare palette and this is Photosphere and this is like a gold and I don't know if it's going to show on camera very well but when you turn it it's sort of got a gold orange greeny shift to it. Oh, you can just about see it there. 
has got that shift, so I think that'll be close enough to get the effect. And the next colour, I I don't have this colour exactly, I have to mix two. So the the green and the matte green, I don't have exactly the right colour. I've got some khaki greens and I'm going to use this one, the BYS Rebel one called Brave. But it's not quite green enough, it's a bit too khaki. So on top of that, I'm going to use the Tribe palette from Juvius. And I'm going to use this top colour here. And I'm just going to mix in a little bit of that to make it a little bit greener. And then I think we will have the right kind of shade. So it's a khaki green, but it's a little bit greener than what I own. So going through all my khaki greens, I didn't have any that were quite green enough, so I'm going to have to mix that one. And the last colour I had some trouble with as well. So it looks like a dark brown shimmer with a slight green shift. So I'm actually using a new palette that I haven't used, because it's the only one that I could find that looked anything like it. And this is the, what is this from? It's from You Can Be and it's the Magic Spell eyeshadow palette. And it's this one here called Dimension. Now this one may not be dark enough, but it has the right brown green shift. Because the only other one I've got that has kind of a shift that's brown, is it's more of a blue teal shift, so that's not quite the right shift. So it's not as green, it's not as dark, but I think it's close enough and we will see how we go. If I need to darken it up, I might need to find something else. But that is my dupe of the Natasha Mini Gold palette. And now I'm going to attempt to copy the look that Annette did when she did this. And so I'm going to be watching what she's doing while I'm filming this, so I'm going to put my earbud in so I can hear what she's saying. Yeah, so she explains this one as a lime green brown duochrome. I, I don't think mine's quite green enough, but it has got a bit of a green shift. So I have primed my eyes and Annette likes to just use a skin colour primer. She, she does occasionally use a white primer, but she prefers not to, and um, so that's what I have done as well. I've just used my Milani eyeshadow primer and in honor of Annette I've done my face first because she always does her face first she's I've I can't remember if I've ever seen her do her eyes first but normally she always does her face first so I have done my face first and she has got I think but she's she's got lipstick on actually and she's also got a highlighter on so I will do that as well before we start. So I'm just going to use the Ofra highlighter in Star Island that Kaylee Wesley gave me in her friend mail. And it looks like she's got some on her nose. Now we're ready to start. So she's going to go in with that pale brown colour as a transition and as she said she doesn't usually do a transition so this is unusual for her. This may be a little bit more brown, darker than the transition colour that she is using. But she does say it shows up darker than what she was expecting anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to go into that matte green, this one here that we mixed. And she's going to put it through her crease and work it up as dark as she can. I suspect mine is going to be 
more pigmented than what she's doing. And she also sticks that on the lower lash line. So this, these are mixing really well together, the Juvia's one and the Sofix one. I feel that's just the right colour. She describes it as like a dirty olive green. The trick will be getting both sides the same colour because I'm mixing and when you're mixing, sometimes things don't quite go the right colour. I think I need a bit more green the khaki on that side. And she's keeping it nice and round. And I feel like I've lost some of that brown, so I might go in and do a bit more of that. And then she switches to a flat smudging brush and puts it underneath. Okay, now this is going to be the tricky part. In my opinion, this is where she does the big black wing. And um, I've, I've never done a wing quite like this before. so. I'm going to see how we go. Now, I feel like she's helped me out here because on her one, she said she didn't make hers even and mine not even either. <laughs> so, I'm just doing what she was doing. Right, now, I think she went into the dark brown next. Let's have a look. But then she goes in with the dark brown, and this is the one where I haven't got the shimmer colour that she has. And I'm not sure if this is going to be dark enough when she puts it on it looks like it blends really well with the black not mad at that oh, brown on my cheek you can see when I have my eyes relaxed. They look reasonably straight when I put my eyebrows up. It has that curve in it because that's just my eyes. I think it worked out all right. What do you think, Annette? If you're watching it. <laughs> and then she goes in with the gold shimmer. And I'm going to use the, the one from the Solar Flare palette. And she always sprays her shimmers, so I will do that. Let me just see how far along she goes. I feel like this one's probably not quite as green as the one she's using, but I think it's close enough. And she wrapped it around here as well. And then she went in with the other dark one, which is the other dark shimmery one, which was nearly wiped off because my sleeve is wiping it off, and put it in between those two. To help transition. It's probably not transitioning quite as well because it's not quite dark enough. Might go in with a little bit more of the brown.
he actually does an interesting funky colour in the waterline and for this look she did purple which I don't think I would have thought of using. So it's quite a bright purple so let's see what I've got. I've got the purple that Katie sent me I think will be the right colour for what I want to do. And I'll give it a bit of a sharpen. And she also did a purple lip so I am going to use my CoverGirl purple lipstick in Felix. Take off what I've already got on. Maybe she just had a gloss on and not a lipstick. Her, just, her lips look really pink. So I went over that lipstick with the Colourish Shine Insta Heaven from L'Oreal because um, it wasn't quite the right colour. <laughs> so there is my recreation of Annette's from Annette's Makeup Corner Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette look using dupes because I don't have the palette. So I hope it did you proud there Annette. What do you think? I don't think I need the mini gold palette though. I think I can get close enough without it. <laughs> so happy birthday Annette. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.